W.C. Fields, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an enduring mark with his legendary works. Among the many, one defining piece that shaped his career remains a subject of discussion. Which one, in your opinion, stands out the most? Delve into the lesser known facts and anecdotes about him, sparking fascination. What surprising stories lie beneath the surface? As we explore Fields' legacy, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Funny, shocking, or even sad, we want to hear it all in the comments below. Stay tuned for many intriguing facts that will keep you hooked. Which piece of his work do you believe defined his career, and what stories can you share about W.C. Fields? Your anecdotes add depth to the narrative. Keep watching for the funny, shocking, and sad facts that unfold. In the annals of entertainment history, W.C. Fields emerges as a pivotal figure, leaving an enduring mark on the world of comedy. Born William Claude Dukenfield, he was a luminary of the early 20th century, captivating audiences with a distinctive persona and comedic genius. Known for witty one-liners and masterful slapstick, he became a celebrated actor during a time when the film industry was still finding its comedic voice. His career spanned the silent film era to the advent of talkies, and he navigated these transitions with remarkable skill. What makes him worth celebrating is not just comedic prowess, but also the ability to transcend the limitations of his era. In an era when silent film stars struggled to adapt to the introduction of sound, he seamlessly made the transition, solidifying his place as a comedic force to be reckoned with. A trailblazer, he influenced generations of comedians who follow Wood in his footsteps. His unique blend of wit, sarcasm, and physical comedy set him apart, making him a beloved figure in the hearts of audiences across the globe. In addition to his film career, Fields was an accomplished juggler and vaudeville performer showcasing multifaceted talents. This versatility contributed to his longevity and relevance in an ever-evolving entertainment landscape. W.C. Fields remains a testament to the enduring power of laughter. His impact on the comedy genre and the entertainment industry as a whole is undeniable, and his contributions continue to resonate with audiences today. Celebrating the life and work of this influential figure is a journey into the roots of comedy, where his influence remains embedded in the very fabric of the art form. W.C. Fields, a legendary figure in the entertainment industry, carved an illustrious career marked by several noteworthy milestones. His journey in the world of acting was punctuated by remarkable achievements, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema. He garnered widespread acclaim for his portrayal of memorable characters, with notable roles in classic films such as It's a Gift and The Bank Dick. His impeccable comedic timing and unique persona became synonymous with the golden era of Hollywood, captivating audiences and earning him a distinguished place among the era's comedic greats. Throughout his career, he seamlessly transitioned from vaudeville to the silver screen, showcasing versatile talents. His ability to effortlessly blend humor with astute observations on the human condition made him a beloved and enduring figure in the entertainment realm. Notably, he received accolades for outstanding contributions, including prestigious awards such as the Academy Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of complex characters and his knack for delivering memorable one-liners solidified his status as an icon of American cinema. In addition to on-screen success, he made significant contributions behind the scenes, influencing the comedic landscape with sharp wit and innovative storytelling. His legacy, intricately etched in the annals of cinematic history, continues to resonate with audiences and aspiring actors alike. In conclusion, his career was a testament to enduring impact on the entertainment industry. From vaudeville stages to the silver screen, captivating performances, memorable roles, and numerous accolades have left an undeniable mark on the history of cinema. Admiring children despite his famous quote, never work with animals or children, W.C. Fields, the acclaimed stage performer, had a penchant for humor that resonated deeply with audiences. One unforgettable moment in his career occurred during a monologue when a backstage crash disrupted the performance. Seizing the opportunity, he responded with a single word whispered to the audience, Mice. Recognized for contributions to both motion pictures and radio, Fields earned two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Positioned at 7004 Hollywood BLVD. For motion pictures and 63 and 16 Hollywood BLVD. For radio, these accolades underscore his impact in the entertainment industry. 
This brief glimpse into his humor and recognition sets the stage for a deeper exploration of his career and unique comedic style, shedding light on the man behind the laughter. In his youth, he showcased an exceptional talent as a tennis hustler, employing remarkable hand-eye coordination to slice the ball strategically. Opponents found it nearly impossible to return his slices, making for a captivating display of skill. Stories of his alcohol consumption were a regular part of his act, and he was often seen with a drink in hand. Despite this, there's no record of him ever being visibly drunk or losing control. He once shared that the Marx Brothers were the only act he couldn't follow on the live stage. A single joint performance in 1915 at Keith's Orpheum Theater in Columbus, OH, alongside the Marx Brothers, highlighted the stark contrast between his quiet comedy juggling act and their anarchic performance. Fields quickly realized the challenge, stating they sang, danced, played harp, and kidded in zany style. Never saw so much nepotism or such hilarious laughter in one act in my life. The only act I could never follow, I told the manager I broke my wrist and quit. These anecdotes offer intriguing glimpses into W.C. Fields' life, showcasing his diverse talents and experiences in the worlds of tennis, hustling, comedic performances, and interactions with other renowned acts. Known for his distinctively large nose, many assumed his prominent proboscis was a consequence of his drinking, a notion he perpetuated in his comedic routines. However, it is believed that this unique facial feature was, in fact, inherited from his mother's side of the family. Rumors circulated about him working on a screenplay titled Grand Motel before his demise. Intended as a parody of MGM's 1932 Best Picture Oscar winner Grand Hotel, this project hinted at his continued engagement in the world of cinema until the very end. He left a lasting mark not only in entertainment but also in the medical field. The W.C. Field syndrome, named after him, is characterized by rhinophima associated with alcoholism, shedding light on the intersection of his personal life and his public image. This unique blend of physical characteristics, creative pursuits, and a medical legacy encapsulates the multifaceted nature of his life and influence, providing a foundation for a deeper exploration of the man behind the laughter. During a movie shoot, he discreetly added a dose of gin to baby Leroy's milk bottle when the set nurse took a break. The production halted for a day until the child could sober up. Fields later sent money to Leroy's family when the boy's screen career ended and they faced financial difficulties. Despite his public claim of disliking children, the comedian surprised many by leaving a significant portion of his estate to an orphanage. W.C. Fields, always regretting his lack of formal education, carried a trunk of books while traveling. He considered hiring a tutor and praised Reader's Digest magazine in his later years. This revealing insight into W.C. Fields' actions and personal sentiments sets the stage for a deeper exploration of the man behind the laughter, showcasing the complexities and contrasts that defined his life. From his mischievous on-set antics to his unexpected generosity towards orphans and his ongoing quest for knowledge, these facets provide a nuanced understanding of the iconic entertainer's character and motivations, offering a fresh perspective on his multifaceted legacy in the world of entertainment. His much-talked-about dislike for children, it seems, was more of a facade. Co-stars Freddie Bartholomew and Gloria Jean remembered him as warm and caring. This contrasts with the case of 18-month-old Christopher Quinn, son of Anthony Quinn and Catherine Demmel. In 1941, the child wandered onto his property, accidentally falling into his fish pond and drowning. Disturbed by this incident, Fields soon moved away. Enshrined in the Juggling Hall of Fame, he showcased exceptional skills beyond his comedic talents. His proficiency in juggling earned him recognition in a specialized arena. Despite his marriage to Harriet Hughes enduring until his death in 1946, they had separated as early as 1904. The longevity of their union contrasts with the early strains in their relationship. These aspects offer a nuanced understanding of W.C. Fields, moving beyond the comedic persona to reveal a more complex individual. From his hidden warmth towards children to his recognition in the juggling hall of fame and the enduring yet strained marriage, each element adds layers to the man behind the laughter. The upcoming exploration of his career and personal life will delve further into these intricacies. Amidst the comedic legacy of W.C. Fields, lesser-known facets of his character come to light, revealing a man with convictions and complexities beyond the laughter. 
Notably, during the era of segregation in the United States, he stood against injustice, advocating for fair treatment of African Americans. His actions spoke volumes as he settled the fourth island mortgage on his African American cook's house, demonstrating a commitment to equality. Unafraid to enforce decency, he once expelled a man from his premises for using offensive language within earshot of his staff. In the realm of filmmaking, often the architect of his own scripts, Fields adopted aliases like Mahatma Kane Jeeves and Otis Kribblecobbles. These pseudonyms originated from the unique names encountered during his vaudeville days, reflecting his hands on approach to crafting the narratives of his movies. The personal arena of his life was marked by intricacies. His wife, Hattie, initially joined him as a partner in their juggling act, yet their paths diverged after marriage. She, upon pregnancy, returned to his parents, and the couple found themselves growing apart upon his return from the road. Despite the strain, a divorce was elusive, and she resorted to tarnishing his image to their son, William Jr., however, he foresaw a different truth unfolding over time. Though father and son had limited interactions, a proud introduction to his firstborn grandson, W.C. Fields III, transpired before his demise. In exploring these lesser-known dimensions, one discovers a man not confined to the spotlight's laughter, but immersed in the complexities of societal advocacy and personal relationships. These layers, hidden beneath the veneer of comedy, contribute to a nuanced understanding of the man behind the laughter, offering a fresh perspective on his impactful legacy in both film and personal spheres.